everyone, this is Paul Privish reporting to you live from my island, English Village, in Second Life, through my avatar, Fire Centaur. Today, I want to talk to you about how to utilize the freely available Sloodle chat logger, otherwise known as the Web Intercom, to give a more effective presentation in the virtual world of Second Life. Now, most of you probably already know that a lot of presentations occur every day in Second Life. In fact, you can easily check to see which events are going on now by pressing Control F on your keyboard and performing a search on the Events tab for Academic Events. Let's just choose a category, we choose Education, and pressing Search. When you do this, a bunch of educational events will appear. You can scroll through them, find the one you like, and then press the teleport link, and then you'll be teleported there within seconds. During these presentations, depending on the audience and topic matter, there is usually quite a bit of audience participation on the chat line. What would be nice, however, is if the audience participation could somehow be captured, archived for review, or made available for others who could not make it to the event. What would be also nice is if text could be relayed to the outside world so that people who aren't jacked in could still participate. Well, good news folks, we have a solution for you. It's called the SLU 1.0 Web Intercom. The Web Intercom, once connected to a Moodle chat room, will save all chat typed during your presentation to a viewable web page within your Moodle course. It will also relay the chat between Second Life and the Moodle chat room. This is highly useful, especially for users who, for some reason, cannot access Second Life during your presentation. What's more, since the chat is being fed into a Moodle chat room, you will be able to access the chat log later to review your audience's participation. So let's take a look at these features in detail. I'm going to click on the chat logger, and first of all, it asks me, would you like to activate the web intercom? I'm going to choose yes. And now the chat logger, or the web intercom, is, has been turned on. Now since this chat logger has been turned on, I'm going to click on it again, and your other users can do that as well, and they can choose whether or not they would like to be recorded. Now, it's important to note that only their te text chat will be recorded, not their actual voices. That facility is not yet available in Second Life. So they would press number one to record themselves, and then they will be listed in red above the chat logger whether or not they're being recorded. So let's go take a look at the perspective a web visitor would see when participating on the web in a virtual discussion in Second Life. First of all, I'm going to access the web chat room by clicking on the chat logger and choosing item number three that says go to web chat room. In the chat line, it gives me a link to the web chat room. So I'm just going to copy and paste that or click on it. And copy and paste it into my browser and it'll take me to this page. And if I click on, click here to enter the chat room now, I'll actually see the chat room. So here I am, there's only one participant, it's me. I'm going to type in hello from the web and let's see if that comes to the second life. And there it is, hello from the web. Now let's see if we can relay from second life to the Moodle chat room. Hi to the Moodle chat room from second life. Press enter and let's see if this appears. There it is, Fire Centaur says hi to the Moodle chat room from second life. So, as you can see, the web intercom, the chat logger, creates a relay between Second Life and your Moodle web course. Now, if I click on this chat logger again when I'm done my presentation, I can just choose deactivate. Then, within my Moodle site, I can easily go and view an archive by clicking on the chat, clicking on view past sessions, choosing the session I'm interested in, and viewing the past chat. Here we go. Here it all is. And it tells the time when the web intercom was deactivated. Well, folks, we hope this web intercom will be useful to you and your in-world presentations. Bye for now. This is Fire Centaur, signing out.